when you when you program a traffic signal you have to be a detective like you have to look through everything whether they are pedestrian whether they are cyclist and how it operates this junction had a lot of vehicle accidents happening we added a green arrow so that they didn't have to wait for a gap in the traffic we proved that we can save uh, 60 to 80 percent right turn crashes once the concept is developed by someone like Moss through those investigations, then I produce the final product to be constructed in the field. We're adding a new green arrows, and that's ready to incorporate into this chip here. So, uh, and then uh, we're ready to put it in. So, we're about to see the operation of the new green arrows. Here, everything is working as a team. So in the team, you have, to, you have to prove that your idea is the best idea. Uh, or sometimes you have to compromise your idea because there might be some potential risk in it. So that's how we, we work in a team. It was a site that had a lot of cyclists involved in crossing the junction as well. Now there's a full facilities for cyclists to get from the eastern suburbs into the city. I have been in traffic operations for 25 years. Did matriculation art and loved drawing and this is the field I got into. I, I love the challenge, both modelling and computer programming. I can now drive basically anywhere in the metropolitan Adelaide without a street directory. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the Charisma Bypass Unit uh, happened a few years ago, yes, that was <laughs> the chip or uh, card that goes into the intersection controllers that we write the programs for is called a personality mm -hmm. and it's called that because everyone has, uh, it's slightly different so there's no identical intersections anywhere but somebody said well there might be personalities but it's not related to the people in the unit because you're all boring. <laughs> now, as you can see, we've got a wider cross-section of happy people here, so.